Hey guys, welcome to Skipper Surf Review. I'm Yuri Tsudenov and today we we'll interview Firewire Sunday designed by Rob Machado. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy this episode. Let's get started. This is a 7.0 Firewire Sunday. It has 53.8 liters of volume and the most volume is concentrated right along the center line and you mostly feel that when you paddle or sit in the water. I immediately noticed that instability. Uh, if I would compare that to my other boards, uh, the volume is not evenly spread out across the board. So just don't be surprised with that. And uh, I maybe it just was me or just this board, but that's just my thoughts on that. Um, if we take a look at the outline of this board, it's pretty much a stretched out version of the Glazer. Except the technology, this is the helium, this one is the LFT, and uh, this board is pretty light and durable. Uh, but uh, what Rob did with um, this version, with this, with Sunday, he added some tweaks, uh, and uh, one of them is a twin setup. So this board comes as a two plus one. Uh, primarily, it needs to be served as a twin fin. I surf as a single fin, as a twin fin, and I love that setup. So uh, a lot of options to play with, uh, with different fins. I'm going to talk about the fins a little bit later. Uh, the other part is probably the V right at the end. I'm going to try to show it to you and uh, you will see uh, that difference between the Glazer and the Sunday. So on Sunday, the V start right at the end of the tail and then goes all the way up here. And on the Glazer, the V starts right up here and goes all the way to this point. So the V is um, a little bit shorter than on the Sunday. What it allows it to do is uh, actually going rail to rail much quicker on Sunday, and there's actually no delay between transitions. And another thing is uh, probably the rocker. So on Sunday, the rocker is uh, uh, more mellow than uh, on the Glazer. So the glazer has a little bit uh, kick right at the end, and on Sunday it's pretty much flat. So that's just a, another difference that I noticed. I've got a few DMs on Instagram about the Sunday and uh, how the board works and uh, if is it better than the Seaside and Beyond. So I'm going to answer these questions in this review right now. Sunday has elements of a twin fin, and you can start to feel them when you trim or want to do sharper turns, but because it has a round tail, it provides a forgiving experience in terms of maneuverability. Uh, it doesn't extremely release the tail, so you always have control of the board, and uh, if, if you surf twin fin before, uh, you always have that moment when you would do a sharper turn and the tail would slide off. On Sunday, it didn't really happen. It felt like I'm on a thruster or something like that. I surfed Sunday in crappy one to two foot waves and I think handled them really well. Unfortunately, we didn't have solid swells to test it out in much bigger stuff. So I only had one session to surf it on a three to four foot day with a light on shore wind. And one thing I would like to mention is that it took me about two sessions to figure out the positioning for catching waves. It was really challenging at first because uh, the board has a lot of volume up in front and in the tail. So if you surf steeper waves, uh, when you try to make a lay drop, it, the, it tail, the tail lifts up and you're pretty much purling. And uh, I, if I would compare that to Seaside and Beyond, uh, it had a little bit less volume in the back. So I didn't have any issues making lay drops. Uh, so on Sunday, if you ended up surfing bigger waves, I would suggest start paddling way early and uh, treat it as a longboard. In small stuff, uh, there were some challenges catching those tiny waves because there's a lot of foam in the front. And uh, usually I would put my chest down to slide down the face. On Sunday, it doesn't work. So we have to find a little bit steeper face to, uh, to catch the wave. It's just my suggestion. And also, surf more of your front foot and uh, you will get way more speed. What I love the most about Sunday is how responsive it is and its projection. 
there's pretty much no delay between transitions and the board is way more predictable than the seaside and beyond it also picks up speed really quick now i want to talk about the fins i initially used semi kills from the rob machado quad set it was okay but the whole game changed after i set up with the mr twin fin set the board got more drive and became easier to pivot. It's my favorite fin setup right now. You can also try to play with some trail fins uh, plus one center fin if you serve bigger ways uh, with more steeper faces. But um, I'm gonna try to do that maybe this weekend. We're expecting bigger swell and uh, I may post another view uh, when the ways are firing and how the board uh, worked. I also experimented with the single fin setup. Uh, surprisingly, it works amazing. I popped in just six and a half inches true MS center fin and the tail held really well. I was easily able to do cheater five. And I think if I put like a six, seven, seven and a half or even eight inches fin, I would probably be able to do hang 10. I don't have that fin, so I'm gonna order it and then see how it goes. And last, I would like to talk about sizing. I went with the 7 on Sunday because I was really curious how the healing technology would work on the mid lane board. And I think Rob Machado did an excellent job uh, to bring a really fun board to this world uh, that can work as a twin fin and as a single fin pretty well. So I'm going to take advantage of this board this summer and surf really small waves in Rockaway Beach. And um, if you already have um, Seaside and Beyond and thinking of switching out the board and moving to Sunday, I personally wouldn't do it unless you go with the shorter size, like 5'9". I wouldn't go above 5'9". And um, you can get some twin fin experience and do more aggressive turns. But I personally prefer to use P PU boards uh, in that uh, range, uh, size range. So, but if you don't have a seaside in beyond and thinking of uh, getting another mid link, I would go with Sunday. You can even go with 6.8 uh, to do, you know, to, to ride as a single fin and do some cheater five, maybe even hang 10. Um, and um, you should be okay with that. So, or if you would uh, just prefer to go with uh, more flow, but if you want to get more glide out of the board, you can even get go with the CI mid. That's um, I, I've done that review in the past, and if you want to watch it, uh, you can click on the link above. Uh, yeah, that's about it uh, about the sizing. And uh, to answer the final question, I think the C setting beyond doesn't really overlap Sunday and. They probably have the general overlap at 30%. So I think the season beyond is uh, much better than Sunday. And uh, if I had a choice between two boards to pick one, I will go with Seaside and Beyond. Uh, but this board is really fun to write, especially in crappy days. That's uh, I would, what I tested the most. And I think it delivered amazing performance and uh, I could do some basic maneuvers pretty easy. So I'm pretty happy with that. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell to not miss the next episode. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching and until next time, goodbye.